Bargain fever was in Shelton over the weekend. Parents and children gathered at Warsaw Park for the Connecticut Kids Closet. Held in a few locations every year, parents sell and shop for used clothes and toys. Director Maura McNulty explains how this program began. In 2009, uh, my friend Ellen, who's from down south, started the business up and she it was something for fun that they have huge consignment events down south and she wanted to try it up here it's a little bit of a harder sell in new england we're we're, we're not uh open to the, the the new idea here but slowly but surely um she after two sales she moved back down south and i took over parents from all over the area came to see what kind of treasures they could dig up at this overgrown garage sale the community center was filled to the brim with anything you need to make your children light up a smile. Um, we say from tummy to teen, um, newborn and baby items right up to juniors and toys, sports gear, baby equipment, clothing, you name it, we pretty much have it. This event has grown over the last few years. When the program started, 30 parents donated. Now. Over 100 parents have donated their items, and 20 of those have helped out at this event. The growing number of participants is helping create a buzz. Um, I actually saw it online. I saw it on Facebook. And I've heard about it before through friends who have come in the past. So I thought I'd come and check it out. Parents love it because they can find quality products for bargain prices. It also puts the money back to the parents. Parents receive 60 to 75% of profits even more if they volunteer. And as much as it keeps the money in the parents' wallets, and it keeps their kids entertained. What movie is that? The Lego Guys. Lego, Lego Guys? Do you like Legos? Lego, I like. Last time I watched this movie and I liked it. Yeah? You like the Lego movie too? The Connecticut Kids Closet will be holding a special holiday event November 18th and 19th at Warsaw Park in Ansonia. You can go to ctkidscloset.com to donate some of your old toys or some of your old crafts. For QU News, I'm John Suppowitz.